case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1890, the Wisconsin Supreme Court heard Vosburg v. Putney, a case involving a 14-year-old student who was kicked by an 11-year-old while in school. The kick initially caused minimal discomfort, but the older child later experienced severe pain, vomiting, and swelling, which led to the degeneration of the bone and the likely permanent loss of limb use. Initially, the injured boy was awarded $2,800 in damages. However, the defense identified two errors made during the trial that led to the initial judgment. The first error involved a witness being improperly questioned, and the second concerned the disclosure and commentary on the plaintiff's father's employment and family circumstances. The court determined that these errors warranted a retrial. As a result, the judgment was overturned and the case was sent for retrial. The court ruled that the plaintiff deserved full compensation for their injury, regardless of financial circumstances. Vosburgh v. Putney demonstrated the importance of ensuring that evidence presented in court must be relevant and admissible, and that a plaintiff's financial situation cannot be considered when determining damages in a compensatory case. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.